There we the go. Amorpheus harnesses the power of GPU computing to help protect networks in a way never before possible by creating customized models tailored to your environment. Observing every detail of your network activity, Morpheus employs unsupervised learning to understand typical behavioral patterns across multiple dimensions without relying on predetermined labels of good or bad. As the AI learns, it creates not a single model, but potentially millions of models, each one with a specific digital fingerprint that is constantly scanned and analyzed. And because those models are running on NVIDIA GPUs, they can be scaled out and parallelized to support massive networks, enabling cybersecurity practitioners to apply enhanced Dylan, are you drilling over this one? to detect anomalies quickly and reliably. It's pretty cool. Uh, I, there's a the couple of talks in it that I want to check out. Deep learning is coming to I, I'd be more interested this in seeing like, like this is neat, and will but, make a big uh, you know, three connected dynamics whether this is better than what exists now as science. anomaly detection or no, not, I mean, First, I would think so, but uh, I'd like to see it. But what would really be neat staff. is being able to the chip and system, do the, the acceleration actual libraries, analysis the component of it, right? Gave us a 50 Not just being able to say, second, okay, something is uh, anomalous or wrong here. This requires more investigation, um, but to actually start to do those investigation stuff. steps based on the what has been that determined. Writes is highly that would be cool. Making it even yeah. more conducive. Yeah, if there's a the clear if there's a clear remediation or mediation, I would much rather yeah. tell me about action taken than action required. Scaling to large systems. Exactly, like, like only involve humans when absolutely necessary. Five thousand x speed. Yeah. And especially as we start talking Third, about container and AI uh, and model-based security, can predict humans can't react. Thousand to ten thousand times faster. There steps that you know. If the answer is hey, this model seems to be drifting completed. from its intended purpose based on problems, some standard data. Even Start feeding it, 50X you know, in, inserting 5, the desired data into its retraining scheme updates to try to curb its model drift. Like, there's yeah. A human can't vary, intercept that. Depends on the scale that it has that. to be a machine but when thing. A solution to a so there's, the, there's some the of that that is interesting. I mean, even the what we looked at with some of the other partners that we have self-driving cars. You know, we looked at some of the stuff from Palo Alto the yesterday, and we're doing clear. some of this similar computing, doing behavior model-based development and enforcement, performance. you know, during yeah. integration and unit testing, learn the behavior of an application and some key aspects, uh, and then apply Maxwell, and enforce that in, re in the laws of runtime. Dynamics, Ohm's law, Bernoulli's principle. But it still doesn't the law of automatically of contain, control, Researchers start collecting artifacts. AI models that you know, learn the, physics the platform and make lacks some of the abilities to do things like, hey, when you see this, immediately start capturing all packets to and from the simulation container. has been growing. Yeah, exactly. Because right. even even if it if it comes to the know. point where, hey, we need to get a human in involvement here, having that data him. that might not even physics exist anymore is going to make all the difference. Yeah. Lee Anand Kumar. Well, especially if you know we're looking at model serving containers, they may live for tens of seconds. They won't even be there by the time you get it. Can learn to approximate any partial differential equation. The same you know, and the, the time lag between receiving an alert on your computer and your Pino. eyes switching and focusing your, your computer may have vanished. That obeys the laws of physics. Pino can learn from a principled physics simulator or observed data. 